Jacob from MAPC, and today I'm doing this tutorial for you guys. Today, um, this is going to be a little different in that we're going to spend the whole tutorial on the abstract concept section because uh, the things we're going to talk about today are, are the types of things that people will say, if you understand this, you have a good understanding of the, of the, of the programming language, and I don't totally agree with that. I don't, I don't think that complex. We're going to talk about inheritance, interfaces, and polymorphism. Now those things, especially polymorphism, sound scary because polymorphism is just a, a big word and it sounds really complex, but it, like I said, don't get scared, it's not that complex. And we're going to spend the whole tutorial talking about it, so it should go over smoothly. The reason I decided to take away the tutorial part is because, is because there aren't really any practical ways you can use them at this point. You'll be using them all the time, but it'll always be in conjunction with other things that we haven't learned yet. So I'm going to start with inheritance. The way I like to think of inheritance is Let's say you're making a game and you want to have every single animal species in the world and have it made into one class for animal species in the game. So that would take forever, but you'll find that, well, if, you're, if you've taken basic, basic biology, you'll know that animals are actually classified into groups. Um, the highest up classification are invertebrates and vertebrates, and the vertebrates are split into mammals, birds, reptiles, animals, birds, reptiles, animals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and I know there's one more. Oh well. Animals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, one more. And um, so the, the point of this is that what you can do is you can make a class called, inver called vertebrate and you could give it some, give it some, some uh, methods or variables that hold true for all vertebrates. Like for instance, you can have a variable called background, say backbone equals true. And that, that might be all you, all you have for the vertebrate class, but the point is that's that that's a that line of code is one line of code you want to write for all the million classes that would fall under the under the class vertebrate because when um when another the other class will extend vertebrate or they'll be children of it or they'll inherit the the uh, attribute from vertebrate it's, it's, that's how inheritance works and when you especially when you, you go down the line of you create mammal bird classes and they have the attributes of mammals and birds and and then you go down the line and you get to the species and the most specific one, they only have like a few, and there you'll only be coding the stuff that's specific to that species, and that saves so much time. So that's how inheritance works, and it's also where the idea of abstract classes comes from. Um, an abstract classes is a class that you don't plan on creating anytime soon, it's only used for storing information. Like if you're in the game and you want to create a vertebrae, or a class, or you want, you want to create a vertebrate, that, that doesn't help the, the, your program very much because that's a very, very general statement. So the, the thing is, you, um, if you don't plan ever creating a vertebrate in the game, which would make sense, um, then you would make the vertebrate an abstract class. And I think it has something to do with memory storage, but anyway, that's an abstract class is. Alright? And one of the things that a lot of people think is the weakness of Java is that it does not support multiple inheritance. So for instance, if you have an eagle, you can make it extend the extend or inherit or however you want to say extend the extend the bird class, which makes sense as part of the bird kingdom. But let's say you also want to extend the two leg the two leg mammal class. That that you can't do in Java. That would be multiple inheritance, and you can't do multiple inheritance in Java. Um, the, um a lot of people consider this a weakness of Java, but the the reason why Java, why the the designers decided to do this is because they wanted to keep the program simple and flexible. If, if they had multiple inheritance, it would make it, it would make un incompatible with a lot of different platforms, which which they felt like was doing more harm than good. And also, it makes it a whole lot more complicated. Imagine if you had Windows or your, your directory system, and you could have one file, and you could have it have it branch out into multiple folders. It'll just make the whole tree of the organization just completely fall apart. So that's why they decide to take it out in, in Java, but at the same time they have interfaces. And interfaces sort of solve the problem of multiple inheritance. What interfaces are is similar to um, parent parent classes, but they um they're basically they basically have a list of things where that, that things that implement it are required to have with in, in programming speak. If something in, if a class inherits something that's called extending the class extends to the other, the other class. And if it's taking from an interface, it's implementing the interface. So just know that. Extending a, a class, implementing interface. Gotta know that vocab. So, in order for a class to implement the interface, it has to have meet all the requirements of the interface. So basically what they'll have is, the interface will have a list of 
methods or variables that, that they don't really care what, what, what they do, they just need to be defined in the class. So even if they do nothing in the class, they need to be defined. And this, this that seems kind of useless because uh, you don't really gain anything from the interface, but this all contributes to the concept of polymorphism. And like I said earlier, polymorphism is sounds scary, it's a big word, but it's not that bad. Polymorphism means having multiple forms. So we've already talked about it a, a, a little bit with inheritance and interfaces, but the big deal with polymorphism is that if you have a method, let's say you have a method that's called shed skin. You have a, a method that has one of the parameters, it, it requires a reptile to be, to be passed as, as one of the parameters. And the idea of polymorphism is it doesn't have to be a, the reptile class in per se for it, for it to work. If it, it extends the reptile class, or if you have a reptile interface and it implements the reptile interface, it'll work as well. So if you have the snake, you can pass the snake in as the reptile in the parameter, and it'll work. That's what polymorphism means. It really is pretty straightforward if you if you think about it. So that's all for today. No, no challenge today, and I'll see you guys next tutorial.